Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today I'm going to be showing you how to use FreeCAD to model models for 3D printing. So first off, just going to get everyone acquainted with the interface here. We have the top bar here and we'll start off by hitting the new. The next thing I want to bring to y'all's attention is this drop down that says start. Now the two main things we're going to be dealing with is part and part design. Now for this particular tutorial, I will start off, actually let's go ahead and start off with parts. Once you select part, you have your primitive shapes here. So we'll go ahead and just select a cylinder. If you click on it, here's some attributes. These are not very useful. If we go to data, data, wherever you want to pronounce it as, we have a little bit more useful things here, like a radius, a height, an angle don't really mess with the angle too much here especially with the cylinder because it's just going to flip it or just going to spin on its current axis which is pretty useless so radius you know you can change it to 2.5 or whatever so I don't know, i'm just going to go for a three that sounds fine and then um okay so we got 10 for height that's okay for what we needed for some other things to look at up here you have your viewing angles you can also on your keyboard you can press numbers one through zero i want to say and use your scroll wheel to scroll in and out hit or click on your scroll wheel and hit the mouse button to pan rotate automatically you just hold down the scroll wheel or the middle click and the left or right click to do this and then sometimes it'll stick and like go in a free spin type thing you can just click the scroll wheel to disable it or click one of these guys these are just predetermined angles here so you got each one of your six sides you can see very useful especially when you're trying to mo uh, scale a model. Of course, you have your axis down here. Always pay attention to this here whenever you're doing any sort of really, er, uh, movements or of course, uh, any sort of rotations there. So let's go ahead and add another shape here just for reference, we'll add a cube. So we'll click on the cube, do some, uh, let's see here, height, I'm gonna set that to five. And then for length, yeah, that's fine. So say I want to, uh, I want to put it in the middle of the shape here. So what you want to do is go click down a placement drop down, go to position, and then our Z, we're going to do that by 2.5. Yeah, there we go. So kind of knock it in the middle. And then I want to go ahead and just put it right in the middle of this uh, cylinder here. So we'll have to go negative five. And then, yep, like I said, you want to make sure you definitely click before you go into, don't use tab or enter so okay there we go now I want to go ahead and subtract so let's go ahead and do the subtract tool here so you just uh, you click your first your master object you want to subtract from and then hold shift or control and click on the object that you want to subtract from that object there so so of course the cylinder we're keeping the square we're putting away now to keep in mind you when you want to subtract multiple shapes from an object or you want to subtract um, a single object from multiple shapes you will have to use one of these uh, union tools here uh, like this and make a single shape however that's not what we want to do right now if anything's hidden or grayed out like this just right click toggle invisibility it'll usually do it if you undo like a change like that where it's a union so i want to go in and we're going to go to make a cut there we go. So we made our cut. As you notice, it's grouped. So these are two are grayed out. These two mass pieces that were subtracted from each other, they're still there. You can edit them, and especially. But keep in mind, if um, a lot of times with these master shapes, you don't. If you want to move the whole thing, that's fine. But if you only want to move one piece, you can still do that. You can still edit these shapes and all their attributes. And especially that comes in handy when we start doing. Uh, like custom shapes and all that here so just some cool little primitive stuff and then of course another thing you can do is you can click an edge like this and you can hold control and click multiple edges so I'm gonna do these and then you can do things like you can uh, flay or you can chamfer them really easily so I'll do one that's fine and there you go so there's this little fillet there fillet fillet whatever you want to pronounce it just want to show you all the rotate feature real quick let's use another cylinder i'm going to rotate on its y-axis basically if um if you want to rotate something you gotta uh, you gotta think of if it's going to cir what axis is it going to circle around in its rotation and that is where we go to axis so you want to rotate on its y-axis for this particular application so we go from we we basically click on z 
which is use the default rotation, which is useless for cylinders. So you hit zero on that. And then you go to Y and you hit, you punch in one. Just make sure you only have one of these uh, set to, or else it's gonna rotate on two axes and probably do some weird things. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an angle of 90. And let's see, I'm gonna do a radius of about, uh, I'm gonna say 0.5, or actually 0.2. So if it starts doing that weird floaty thing, just hit that scroll wheel and then right, right click or left click like this. Hit the scroll wheel, left click, ah, uh, freaks out on us. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a fair share of bugs in this program here. So negative 10 or negative five, okay. And then Z, 1.25, okay. So there we go, that's centered up. So then you can just still go in and you can uh, cut. So now we got a cool little center hole punch in here. That is the basics of editing or messing around with primitives here. Of course, there's a few other little features, but I'll go on. I'll go through it on another video here. All right, folks, just want to thank you for watching here. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing and check out some of our other videos here that are should be poking up on the screen here real soon. Let me know in the comments what other type of CAD related or 3D modeling related videos you want to see there and have a good day.